Uh, the biggest problem is simply that we don't know what we're handling. A new synthetic street drug is changing the way police do their jobs. Elaine Doherty is with the Michigan State Police Forensic Lab in Bridgeport. She tests drugs to figure out exactly what they're made of. She says dangerous opioids like fentanyl and carfentanil, commonly sold as heroin, are a new threat. And instead of having a known hazard for what you're working with, all of a sudden it's an unknown hazard. You don't know if your sample is nothing or if it's something that could kill you if you inhale it. Fentanyl which is used in end-of-life care is typically given to cancer patients for pain. Just a small amount, even absorbed through the skin, can be deadly. Carfentanil can be up to 10,000 times stronger than morphine, and it's used as an elephant tranquilizer. Doherty says it's most likely produced in labs in Mexico or China. Sergeant Dwayne Zook with the Michigan State Police says there's been an uptick in the Flint area of fentanyl and carfentanil. He says it's now become standard to use every precaution in situations where drugs are present. They believe something is a illegal narcotic and they want to seize that and take it in as evidence. They have to put on gloves, uh, you know, and they have to seal it properly. We do not want any troopers field testing narcotics anymore that are powder of nature because of carfentanil. It's, it's so potent, it can be deadly. He says officers across the country have gotten sick because of these drugs. Doherty hopes police can get them off the streets and are careful doing it. Officers understand how, um, how dangerous this is. There are some officers who still don't take this very seriously. Reporting in Bridgeport, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5.